Okay, I want to give you a super pretty detailed polishing tip. I think it's something that I don't see used enough and it's something that I really want to make sure you guys are aware of and also make kind of a danger comment as well that this tip can be overused and overdone. Um, so please be careful not to use this too much. I will look for some examples during the next couple of weeks to show um, how bin bows are being used um, in a in a great way. Um, and hopefully you guys can incorporate this into your shots to kind of loosen things up a little bit um, and to get rid of uh, rigid feeling like say in the arms. So let's go ahead and, and take a look at that. So here I just have this real simple pose um, that I did. And oftentimes when the character's arm is bent in such a way, um, this it, there's a tendency to have it feel like tubes, like two cylinders on the arm. And so I want to show you how to incorporate bend bows into a pose so that um, it works a little better. So at the bottom of each hand, there's this a little extra, con or the little um, control there at the bottom. And so if you scroll to the bottom of that, you'll see there's something here called bin bow viz. So turn that to on, and when I do that, it popped on these two new controls here. And basically what that does is it allows me to bin bow the arm, and as you can see, like really quickly, this looks funky and rubber hosey. And so rubber hose animation is um, when they first learned about overlapping action and back in the 30s, everything tended to like look like rubber hosey like that and didn't feel like it had anatomy in it. So that's the point where you need to be very careful not to make your animation feel rubber hosey. However, uh, what I recommend is animating this control, say like in, in uh, Z, or, or let's see, let's kind of... I'm going to pick over here again so that I just get my local translation. So I only get one translation and that is the Z. And so on a pose like this, here is, here's zero. And so I'm just going to pepper that in just a little bit. And then here as well. So I'm going to go here and use Z as well and, and pepper that in just a little bit again. So I, this is something again, that's like pretty subtle stuff. Uh, when you get into the animation though, it really helps break the arms up from feeling like rigid cylinders and actually when I do see it being used, it really stands out to me as uh, much more appealing when it's done right and to me this would be done in a right fashion. Any more than that, it starts to really call attention to itself and feel rubber hosey. So if, and then I basically animate the, that back um, those controls back to zero. So I'm just going to hit undo a couple times. So so if I go into another pose or the arm drops down to the side, you know, I, I may want to put a little bin bow in it, but if I want it back to zero, then I'll I always um, rotate things back or translate things back to zero, um, so that there's not this ongoing uh, bin bow throughout the entire shot. I just turn it on and turn it off where I need it, or, or animate it rather to where I need it, and then back to zero again. Um, so just a, a point to, to help you guys um, break things up. I see the, the rigid cylinder arm quite a bit. Um, on here on the, on the feet, you pick the bottom curve, and there's a bin bow here as well. You can turn that on, and you'll see that now I get um, three controls, one here and then one here, and then one down at the bottom here. And these, again, are, are very subtle to be used. However, they can really... Um, add add quite a bit I think to the animation instead of feeling like a rigid s cylinders for the legs again you can get just a nice kind of shape to it and again it, it, it's subtle it's a very um, uh, polishing thing that you probably do you know right at the at the last you know 10% of your shot but it is something that I wanted to make sure you guys were aware of uh, this does exist on some of the the new characters as well and uh, we'll, you'll just have to see which ones. I'm not exactly sure which ones, but I did talk to Animation Rigs, and they said that they, they are on some of the characters in the same, same place as well. So um, I hope this tip helps. Just a little polishing thing. Enjoy, and have a great week, guys. Adios.